Hey there, guys! It's Chaos Maelstrom time! Welcome to the finale of Metroid Prime! In the last episode, we went and scrounged for the last few artifacts, including the artifact of Nearborn, which... Well, that was more embarrassing than I'd like to admit. In this episode, with 100% of pickups available to us, we now enter the Impact Crater. Oh, and also Ridley showed up. That too. Well, it certainly looks interesting. We have a save station here. Uh, I don't think I'll need it, but I'll go ahead and save just in case. Alright. And with all of that done, we move forward into the impact crater itself. We have what looks like something really nasty here. Limited data on unknown material unavailable. Material is highly radioactive. You will take damage from direct contact. Mutagenic quality is at least 86% greater than phase on Uh, so yeah. It's this game's way of saying it's super lava. Don't touch it. And we have a Lumigek. Phase on charged reptiles. Okay. Um. Those are just your standard bitch ass enemies that just, uh, mind their own business and don't do shit. Which is why I'm gonna pelt them to death with my pea shooter. And I'm gonna take damage here, aren't I? No? Okay. Alright. Well, I can guarantee you one thing. This next room is gonna be a pain, a pain in the ass. Okay. First things first. I'm gonna find it. I'm gonna find what I know is in here and scan it and then back out of here because I need every ounce of time that I can get to run through here. This is a Fission Metroid! My least favorite enemy in this game. Thankfully, they only appear here. And uh, in one other area, which we probably may or may not get to see. Fission Metroid. Metroid with the ability to split into two forms. When you get it down to half health, it splits in two. It's also not vulnerable to ice unless it says so, because it's a mutant capable of splitting into two, and it's vulnerable to most weaponry. It depends on which color it currently is. So that, that, that dictates which weapon it is weak to. Alright! So, now that we know that we have those things to deal with, our goal is to get into and out of this room as quickly as humanely possible. If you get a Metroid attached to you, use a power bomb. Blow that for the fuck up. Where the frig is? Oh right, I'm supposed to go over here. All right. Yeah. Well, no punches at this area. Power bombs are the only thing that instantly kills them. Otherwise, they will split into two. Plus, they infinitely respawn in this room. That's why I suggest having as many power bombs as possible, because power bombs are good. Okay. I'm gonna duck into this room and hide out for now. This is a missile reload station. So, likewise, it's a, it ain't gonna do shit for us. Yay! I got all my missiles back. All zero of them that I used. Okay. And next up... Uh, oh, hello there. I cannot scan you. Okay, well... I better get back in here to draw that uh, Metroid off me. I really feel like I should be able to scan that, but no, of course not. Alright. For real this time. Okay, this way. Got it. Hi. I'm just gonna... Make things easy. And if they happen to drop power bombs for you... Then good for you! It's unlikely that they will, but still... It'd be nice to not have to waste power bombs. Because you may or may not need power bombs in this area coming up, is all I'm saying. 
All right. And here we have another magnetic rail system. Uh, we will uh, get hurt like hell if we try to do any fancy fancy footwork across the super radioactive or super lava as I called it earlier. So don't try anything too fancy. All right. Now that that's done, we have shit, shit, shit. Ow, 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 ow. We have one more door in front of us. Here we go, guys. Evolved, Phazon produced life form. The aberration known as Metroid Prime is the source of Phazon, making it immensely powerful. A, a genetic flaw makes, a, makes it susceptible to certain weapons for brief periods. Only its head is truly vulnerable, other attacks are a nuisance. Offensively, Metroid Prime has a number of natural and mechanical weapons at its disposal. These include uh, Ultra Frigid Breath, Multi Missiles, Snare beams and particle wave projectors add massive strength and barbed carapace make it a lethal in lethal le make it lethal in melee combat. Recommend maximum firepower when engaging this enemy. Yep! We got ourselves a final boss on hand! Alright! So hold nothing back when it comes to this thing, especially when it's in wave beam form. We did a hell of a lot of damage there. But also, watch out for when it changes forms on you. It does so regularly. All right. All right, and don't be afraid to uh, use your missiles. Because you won't be... Because this is where you need to use them more than ever. All right. It's delving deeper. We must pursue it. And this thing, holy shit, this boss is actually very tough if you don't know what to do. All right, ice form. All right. And keep an eye out for when it goes into this mode because that means it's gonna charge at you. The only way you can protect yourself is by ducking down into those ditches. The power beam. Yeah, you're going to be just switching your beam weapons regularly, so don't try anything too fancy. All right? And also, I guess it's bad if, uh... Oh, wave beam. That is plasma beam, not wave beam. That well, just occurred to me. I never used the flamethrower, like, much at all. Tell you what, then! When we see its plasma form, I will gladly, uh... Try the flamethrower out on it. Granted, the flamethrower ain't gonna do shit because it's not that great, but hey! Always worth showing off, I guess. Alright. Speaking of which. Alright, and now it has this uh, tractor beam attack. That's gonna be using on us. Okay. And uh, I'm never using the flamethrower again. You saw there that I just ate up my missiles, and that's about it. Alright. Let's form next, buddy. That is wave form. Alright. Might be a good idea to, to focus on those uh, blasty balls that it has, because I remember those hurting substantially. Oh. And also, when it charges into you, that also hurts substantially. But we're still in a good spot. I think that's ice form. Yep. That is ice form, definitely. Okay. Do you mind? Yeah! Stop freezing me, asshole! 
Instead, how about you take a chill? Yeah, stay cool, bird boy. All right. Yeah. And stuck down here. And yeah, sometimes you get sucked out of there due to the momentum of it just running. All right. Uh, power beam. Again, this is where you're supposed to use your missile. So use them. Maybe not during the first phase if you're worried about it then. But still. Use your missiles. Don't hold back. This is where you need them more than ever. Alright. What are we going with now? Uh, wave B. Great. I remember he likes to start switching up forms a lot more later in the fight, so... And that's all my missiles gone. Okay. Well, I guess I be I guess it's just bare bones beam now. All right. And uh, plasma. Okay. Ow! I got eaten. Probably be doing that too. Oh god, that hurt like hell. Okay, well, I'm just gonna focus my attacks on you because I need to actually see what's going on now. Okay, I'm gonna duck into here. Uh, oh god, I am dying like crazy. Alright, uh, so those uh, glassy ball things are now my new uh, main target. And a uh, wave beam form again. Great. It's like it knows what I, what's effective against me. All right. Got to get more dodge happy now. His head is the only weak spot. Remember that. So if your shot doesn't hit it, then well, it doesn't hit it. All right. Uh. Stay in wave beam? Okay. Yeah. Come on. Die! You're almost there! You're almost in death range! Come on! Uh, it probably helped if I locked on to him. There we go! Down it goes! Metroid Prime is out of its exoskeleton. The core essence of Metroid Prime. Scan indicates that the phase on energy from Metroid Prime is invulnerable to all conventional world weapons. Well, shit. Only attacks from a phase on fused arm cannon can damage it. It generates pools of phase on when it attacks. Use these to fuel your suit's phase on weapon system. The utility can also uh, spawn Metroids. The entity can also spawn next to assist it in battle. Render it, rendering itself invisible when it does so. So yeah, I never really talked about this. Uh, some of you Hawkeye viewers will probably notice that we now have the phase on beam. The um, viral corruption of the power suit has altered the arm can as well. It is now capable of bring, uh, using the uh, powerful phase on beam. Phase on beam appears to trigger in the presence of high concentrations of phase on. In actuality, we could not use this until this point, so I, that's why I completely uh, forgot about it until then. Also, uh, things are dropping missiles now. Wonderful. If I ever uh, need missiles again, I'll be sure to use them. Don't you bite me! I think you can roar at me, it's fine. Alright, when it does this and leaves a phase on puddle, it'll render itself invisible. However, it will be visible. It will still be visible to at least one type of beam. All right. 
Now. Where are you? Okay. Yeah. Come on. There we go! Alright, rendering itself invisible again. I think it's... Yeah. It cycles through being visible only to uh, certain visors at a certain time. Okay. Invisible and thermal visor right now. All right. Woo! But boy, is this boss really cool. This is probably my favorite Metroid final boss of all time. Even, I think I even like it more than uh, Mother Brain at the end of Super Metroid, is what I'm saying. Granted, I don't think it's as climactic as that, but still, it's great. Okay, and now, Metroid Prime starts leaving behind Metroids themselves. We, this is why um, I uh, recommend you. Uh, what, what? What did I recommend? Well, I, this is why I switched to the ice beam as soon as I came into this room because we're gonna have to be dealing with other Metroids periodically, and eventually, it will be powerful enough to spawn Fission Metroids. When that happens, that's where the re your remaining power bombs are gonna come into play. You don't want to waste your time with Fission Metroids. All right. So yeah, since we have the Hyper Beam at our disposal, we'll actually uh, stand a good uh, chance against this thing. But only when we uh, can actually use the Hyper Beam. All you want to do is hold down the A button and it will fire a Death Laser that will, well, kill it. Alright. Rendering itself invisible to normal naked eyes, so that's why we're using the X-Ray Scope now. Come on. Do your phase on Puddle. Do your phase on Puddle, I know you want to. Do your phase on puddle. Do your phase on. Do your phase on. Do your phase on. Okay, we get we we can play jump rope all day, but eventually you got to use your phase on puddle. Come on, I know you want to. Yeah, its attacks in this form are nowhere near as devastating as its exoskeleton. Again, it, the worst it can do is just, you know, hit you with that. Okay. uh... Hunter Metroids. Okay. Now, um, alright, there you are. Come on. Show up! And there we go. Almost down! One more cycle ought to do it. And again, your weapons are completely ineffective against it until you can get the Hyper Beam off. So until then, just focus on dodging. I mean, I guess if you don't have the Metroid destroyed so quick, as quickly as I get them destroyed, then you can uh, worry about that. But yeah, nothing we can, nothing I can do about that. Okay, Vision Metroids, nuke them! With that, it's over. Don't look at explosions. Oh no! Self-destruct escape! Just kidding. It moves us out of there immediately. Wasn't that nice of it? Oh yeah, Samus has a starship. <laughs> uh. With that, it's over. The future of Talon 4 is saved. Granted, there's not really much more more intelligent life for it to support, but uh, at least the phase on corruption won't spread since we dealt with the source of it. 
Oh my god, Samus is a woman? Yeah, that wasn't funny. Okay. But with that, it's finally over. And that was Metroid Prime. All right, another game in the bag. Well, what can I say about Metroid Prime? I want to say this is the actual first first-person shooter that I ever gave my all into playing. Um, I'm not big on the FPS drama or genre. I remember one time when I played uh, Prime 2 at a friend's house, the multiplayer mode, when I wasn't even used to first-person shooters. And I got killed over and over to the point where I was just... Back then, I was a crybaby, so I whined so much that we had to play a different game. Yeah, look at me now. <laughs> uh. So, yeah. What else can I say? Um, this game has aged very well. I'd say it's aged a lot better than other Metroid games, that's for sure. Just point fingers at the original again. But, yeah. Holy shit. I can't believe it's actually over. I mean, I didn't think I'd actually get this done this early. It's only mid-October. I'm actually going up for my uh, sister's wedding next week. But, again, it's actually just really over. It's hard to believe. Um, again, this game uh, was very controversial when it was announced. And I have to say, it is probably... After Super Metroid, it has probably aged the best out of any other Metroid game. That and Metroid Fusion. Super Metroid, Metroid Fusion, and Metroid Prime. Also, Prime 2 is pretty good. Those are the, for lack of a better term, the Prime Metroid games. The epitome of the Metroid series. Yeah, uh, we'll go with that. The Paragon of the Metroid series. Yeah, that works better. What else? What else? Um, I'd like to thank Cam and Azra for their input on the project, uh, when they, uh, sat in with me and provided their, uh, all of their inputs. Oh yeah, we totally used the gravity beam to finish off Metroid Prime, guys! The gravity beam does exist in Metroid Prime after all! Ha 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 ha! Yeah, uh, aside from that, I... I'd like to thank you, viewer, for watching. You, viewer, who is very handsome and or pretty. And that's a lot of text. Jesus. Okay, Retro, I didn't realize that uh, you had to hold that many people to thank. But okay, good for you. And with that, I think that's just about it. Metroid Prime is done. And as for what comes after, I am actually still not quite sure. We'll just see where the road takes me. Oh wow, Samus actually appears without her helmet. Uh, good. Now how, how low a time do I have to get in order for her to appear in a, uh, a string bikini, huh? Not gonna happen? Okay, well, um, here's your compensation image, yay! And with that, I'll see you guys for my next project. Laters! Thank <laughs> you.